Good afternoon guys, I am back with an another video. Today I will show you how to clean your throttle body of a car. This time my reference car is Suzuki Ritz and I will do a throttle body cleaning of this particular car. What are the signs when you should go for a throttle body cleaning? Normally, if you feel an erratic idle and you find that the RPM meter is fluctuating while the car is at idle, this is a telltale sign that your throttle body needs a cleaning. Why your throttle body gets uh, dirty? Let me tell you, especially when you are driving in slow moving traffic in city conditions where the car runs at a very low speed, so the throttle butterfly gets gummed up. That means it becomes sticky due to gum deposits. So the butterfly cannot move freely at the touch of your accelerator. In fact, these are all fly by wire throttle body. But due to gumming deposit, the throttle body doesn't move freely and it becomes sticky. In this situation, you need to clean your throttle body. And I recommend cleaning the throttle body at least once in a year and if your car runs in severe condition sometimes you may require once in six months and if if you do it once in six months only a few bursts of throttle body cleaner is more than enough so before delaying let's start the process for this i have procured this throttle body cleaner there is the 3m cleaner which I was using for the last few years but I have very little left so I have purchased an another one from different brand this is the Shipa brand from Amazon and it's very cheap it is around 250 to 300 rupees in Amazon so I will give you links of both the throttle body cleaners and I have also procured one WD-40 to lubricate the linkages or springs if any so let's start the procedure now I will uh, open the intake pipes so that I get access to that particular throttle body so you can also remove the air cleaner if you want that will give you a better access to the throttle body but here I find I don't need to remove this particular uh, air cleaner so for these are the tools so let me start one by one let me remove the air intake pipe first there's the other one there's the screw so I need to remove that particular screw also as you can see that screw needs to be removed so, so. so I have loosened the screw so that is the throttle body let me show you this is the throttle body and now i will clean it with the help of a throttle body cleaner now let me tell you there are two methods if you find that the throttle body is too much sticky and you cannot do it while the throttle body is installed in your engine in those cases you need to dismantle the throttle body and clean it outside i will first try to do this procedure which 90 percent of the cases it gets solved so i won't take the trouble of dismantling the throttle body so let me start before uh, going with throttle body cleaning you should procure nice clean clothes now there are another method some mechanics will tell you to start the engine and spray this particle throttle cleaner but i prefer doing it in cold conditions so that i can clean it with this and then i will see if it is at all required to use this cleaner in starting conditions so it's better to use while it's in cold conditions to clean this particular throttle take the bottles thoroughly before using and spray generously into the throttle body you see how dirty the color is 
so this is you can see the amount of dirt now i will uh, push open the butterfly by pressing the accelerator and clean rest of inside now butterfly put a chop down uh, now you can see i have opened the butterfly valve and i will spray this particular uh, throttle cleaner over there now i will clean it with the help of a rag you can see the amount of dirt i will spray again thoroughly clean it with gentle rub with the help of a good <coughs> clean cloth as you can see the amount of dirt that is coming out you need someone to press this accelerator so that you can open the valve uh, since this is an electronic type valve so you cannot open it with the help of a hand from here so you need someone to press the accelerator so here i have asked my wife to help me to press the accelerator look at the amount of dirt i will spray again the procedure is same for all suzuki cars especially for reeds and sweep the procedure is same i have a dedicated video for sweep also so you can watch that if you want so i have uh, cleaned the throttle body thoroughly and you can see now it's giving a good shine and here is the amount of dirt that has come out from this throttle body this is this actually helps you in uh, cold conditions you can easily clean like this and after that uh, since the throttle body is now flooded with this particular throttle body cleaner i should uh, rest the car for half an hour and then i will start the car and see the difference and if required i will clean it further so let's give the car a rest of half an hour so now i will reinstall all the pipes and start the car after some time so let me reinstall all the pipes you need to tighten them up securely otherwise outside air will be sucked in so make sure you don't forget to tighten this particular screws no need of over tightening okay check for any leakage or any breakage in these pipes then you should replace it otherwise what will happen outside air will be sucked into their engine without filtration so be careful about that and the car is old also so there is a possibility there may be some cracks or anything like that in your air intake pipes so if you find that replace it so i have installed everything back and then i will start the engine after some time chole shubham now i will start the engine 
normally it will be a hard start after this procedure so don't worry it will take some time to start uh, so let's start the engine so the car has started at one go uh, after few minutes uh, the engine will settle smoothly so let me drive the car and then I will show you the RPM meter now the RPM meter is at uh, a steady position and since the engine is cold it will be a little more RPM and after that it will settle at the desired one so let me drive the car for few minutes and then I will be able to tell you what are the results So the engine is uh, behaving very smoothly now there is no hard idle anymore and I think I have been able to solve the problem so those who are facing this type of erratic idle and jerky throttle response I will definitely ask them to do this procedure so they will be able to solve this problem on their own and it is a very cheap and easy do it yourself procedure so please follow these steps and you will be happy again to drive the car so the idle is steady now so you have seen how you can easily clean your throttle body and this is very simple and this saves you a lot of money going to your uh, local garage or any service center for doing this throttle body cleaning. You can buy a throttle body cleaning a cleaner and easily do it on your own. So if you have liked this video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos like this. And your subscription gives us encouragement to make more videos for you. So please do subscribe. Thank you very much and goodbye.